Hello everybody, today we're going to be setting up Windows Subsystem for Linux to work with uh, Jupyter Notebooks. First thing we do is go over to uh, turn Windows features on or off, scroll down, and you'll see Windows Subsystem for Linux. Check that box, it's going to ask you to restart, so do that and come back to the video. Uh, next thing we're going to do is go to the Microsoft Store, you search for WSL, It'll give you all the different Linux options that you have. Um, I used to use Ubuntu on this. I found that uh, for my Python development, OpenSUSE has actually gone smoother, so I'm gonna stick with this one. Go ahead and install. Alrighty. So now that that's done, go ahead and launch. And uh, this just takes a couple minutes, so we'll come back when it's done. All right, we're back. So type in your username that you want to use and the password. Uh, we're going to use the same password for the root user. All right, so now that we're in here, we're going to want uh, our Python distribution. So let's use Miniconda because it's just easier to set up with this. Miniconda download. You come right here. Uh, you can right click this, say copy link location. And then to download, we can do curl dash capital O. Right click to paste and this will download. We'll come back when this is done. All right, now that we're done downloading, we can type in ls. We can see that we have uh, Miniconda downloaded here, so we'll do um, bash, then capital M, tab. We'll complete this, so just press enter, and we gotta go through and read all the license stuff, so just hold enter, get through this, type yes and we'll install it to this location. So press enter again, and then I'll start installing. So I'll come back when the install is done. All right, Miniconda just finished installing. It asks, do you want the installer to prepend the Miniconda install location to your path home, uh, to your path? And you're gonna say no to that because this isn't bash RC. We actually wanna do it to bash profile because this is a login shell. So you can say no, copy this path, oops, copy this path and just stick it in a text editor and then say vim tilde forward slash period um, bash underscore profile. then you're gonna wanna put this path. If you don't know how to use Vim, I recommend you watch a tutorial on it. Um, I'll put one in the description that should do everything you need for this video. Uh, so you're gonna wanna paste your path here, and then you're gonna wanna put in an alias. I used an alias coding time, uh, which is gonna change directory to where, where I do my work in, um, in Windows, you could basically go to your root drive, root, um, and then CD all the way, change directory all the way to, to this, uh, whenever you want to do work, but you can set up an alias to do it too. So yeah, like I said, if you don't know Vim, uh, watch a tutorial cause it's, it's not intuitive. Um, but then you can, um, just get out of here and now we're ready to do pip install um, Jupyter Lab. So there we go, and it's going to install. I'll be back in a minute when it's all done. Okay, now that Jupyter Lab's done installing, we can type in Jupyter Lab and hold Shift 
and click to select this. Control C to copy. Then we can paste it right into our uh, browser. I like the dark theme. And then notice that since this is, um, since OpenSUSE is opening up to my Windows, uh, Windows section of my hard drive, it's actually going to the Python folder, so you can't see it here. But the, this is actually the base of my Python folder. So that's about it. And then you can just install stuff normally from there on. So you can do pip install pyf2. And there you go. It's just going to install that and, and upgrade pip. You can do anything else you can do on Ubuntu. So uh, good luck with this. And hopefully, hopefully this saves people some headaches.